Hey, George, you ever been to a black-owned barbershop? You know, no, I no, but I saw the movie. <laughs> So, Keith, what do you know what to talk about here at the barbershop? Taxes. Mm, taxes. Yeah. I think maybe just like, clean it up, maybe half inch, a little three quarter off all over, and maybe thin it out a bit. But, you know, actually, Keith, I was talking, thinking about something like these lines here. That might be look pretty good. Not a problem, George. GCR right here. I think. <laughs> GCR. <laughs> George, what were you saying about them putting sales taxes on services? Yeah, they're talking about tax and everything, even like coming to the barber shop here. Oh, I think that's something you should talk to Heidi about. Have you ever been to a black owned barber shop? Everybody keeps asking me that, but <laughs> let's talk about a little bit about some taxes now. Hey, how long have you owned your shop here, Heidi? Uh, 12 years. 12 years, all in the same spot or you moved around? I moved around. Um, I've been in this location for the last six years and then I was seven doors down for the other five years. Good. You know, they're talking about taxing services and so, you know, things like, you know, beauty shops and barbers, just like they do if you were, just like if you're buying something. How do you think, how would that affect your business, do you think? Um, I think it would be a huge impact on the business because as the business owner mm -hmm. as well as the operator services are already a set price we're offering you know a service here people come in they expect to pay that price um, it would definitely be a trickle down effect from them to me because if they're not here then of course I can't keep the doors open I depend on them I depend on the lease of the chairs you know to keep my business afloat as well so if the tax and affects them and then they have to leave and go find employment in other places, then of course it will definitely bankrupt and put me out of business. Mm -hmm. Why is the state even considering this tax? Well, you know, the problem is that government just kind of keeps getting bigger and uh, as a result of that, somebody's got to pay for it. Uh, and so the idea is to then go ahead and tax things that aren't taxed right now. And of course on that list are things like barber shops, beauty salons, or veterinarians, or dentists for that matter. Mm. Um, and so it just becomes a whole new set of revenue in order to pay for programs. Right. I would imagine if you were to survey your, your staff out there, could you, could you share a little more of that money with the government? I'm not sure there necessarily would be an easy yes to that for that. Uh, absolutely not. Because <laughs> even as an owner, I'm still an operator. Uh huh. So it could potentially affect me twice. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. So I would get double hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, not good at all. Well, I, I appreciate you uh, spending some time with us. I appreciate my nice new haircut. You will. And uh, taking some time out of your busy day to talk to us a little bit about taxes and hear about what's happening in your business. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey Keith, thanks for the haircut. Do you mind if I pick the spot for lunch? <laughs>